Hello. So, in this video, we're going to be talking about rational functions, and in particular, the vertical asymptotes, and uh, how to tell if a function has, uh, how rational, how to tell if a rational function has a vertical asymptote. All right. So, we saw in a previous video how to find the domain of a rational function. So, in particular, we would look at the uh, top the bottom sort of independently, and then when the bottom equals zero. So vertical asymptotes occur as a result of um, the bottom being zero. So I'm gonna sort of stick with relatively easy polynomial examples uh, to see how that sort of works out. So fundamentally, uh, a function has a vertical asymptote, which I'm just going to write as VA, uh, when you have a non-zero value being divided by something arbitrarily small. Now, I'm putting this in quotes because this is one of those things, again, where we don't really have the tool we need to do this in an analytic way. So we're going to take a, some license here, some sh a shortcut or some shortcuts here. Um, but I'm, I'm explaining it in this way because this is one of the very first things you end up doing then <laughs> in calculus because in calculus you get limits as a tool and that's exactly what we need here and that's sort of the start of calculus. So I'm explaining it in sort of the same terminology you will hear in calculus so that it sort of hopefully will make sense as you go into calculus. So let's look at an example and I'll sort of explain what we mean here. <coughs> So for example, let's look at the function r of x. And let's say this thing is uh, x plus 1, x minus 2, x plus 3 squared over x plus 1, x plus 2, x plus 3. Okay, so we pretend for a second we had some ugly polynomial on top and bottom. We did all the factor and we get here. Now, a key thing here is the domain is something that you figure out before doing any simplifying. So the domain is something that we would find out right away, sort of before we, like after you factor, but before you simplify anything. So here, my domain, x can't be, right, the top and bottom are polynomials, so I don't have to worry about that but I can't divide by zero, so I need the bottom to be non-zero, so x can't be negative one, negative two, or negative three, okay? But nonetheless, once I've noted the domain, I can simplify this thing and get rid of some of these terms. So in particular, the x plus one cancels an x plus one, x plus two versus minus two, right, not the same, but I do have x plus three and x plus three, so that cancels that and I get rid of one of those. So if I simplify this then, I'm going to get x minus 2, x plus 3 over x plus 2. Now, a vertical asymptote occurs when I'm trying to divide by something arbitrarily small. And this, so the smallest thing we can think of in terms of magnitude would be 0. I can't actually divide by 0 because it's not a thing. But nonetheless, I can sort of think of what would happen as I get sort of very close to dividing by zero. So really what I want to do is after I've simplified, I'm going to look at what remains as effectively a, a restriction. What is it that would make the bottom still equal zero? So here, my x, so this is the actual domain. I'm, I'm trying to make that very clear because this is an important distinction. That's the actual domain. Whereas here, I'm saying x still can't be negative 2 in terms of computation, right? Couldn't be negative 2 because of the domain, but here, like the negative 1 and negative 3, it seems like maybe I could compute something um, because they're no longer in the bottom, but they're still not in the domain. That's important. But here, if I try to plug in negative 2, I get something really bad. 
If I tried plug E negative 2, let's see what would actually happen. So here, R of negative 2, I'm going to write this as equals with a qu quotation mark, because this doesn't exist, right? So it's not really equals. But what I would get is negative 4 times negative 1, that's negative 4, over 0, which should make me sad, because that's not really a thing, right? But what that means is that if I get really close to negative 2, right, if I did say, instead of negative 2, I did negative 2.0000001, then this thing would be very, very close to 0, and this thing would be very, very close to negative 4. That's because the top and bottom are continuous functions. right? They're both polynomials. They're continuous functions. So they're going to be close to those values, which means I'm going to get something that is non-zero, negative 4, or something close to negative 4, divided by something that is arbitrarily close, arbitrarily close to 0, meaning arbitrarily small. So the shortcut version. So the shortcut version is if r of some value, something like a, equals, again in these quotes, because it, it's a restriction, it can't be, some uh, x over 0 or x not 0, meaning I get something that is non-zero over 0, and the top and bottom are continuous, then there is a vertical asymptote at x equals a, meaning the thing you plugged in. So what that's saying here is here, x equals negative 2 is a vertical asymptote for r of x. Okay? And this is, so this is the case after you've simplified. So again, to be very clear, you can't actually plug in negative 2 because that's not in the domain. But it's the idea of like, if you tried, you get something that isn't 0 over 0, which isn't defined. But as long as the top and bottom are continuous functions, which polynomials are, that tells you that that's actually a virtual, uh, a uh, excuse me, vertical asymptote. Okay, that's really all there is to it. So for vertical asymptotes, um, again, the sort of real way to do these, the analytic way of doing these, involves using limits, which we don't have. Um, that's something you'll study in very great depth in calculus. It basically is what calculus is. Um, so. We don't have that tool, so this is sort of a conceptual approach to it without using the analytic tool we need. Okay. All right. So in the next video, we're going to be talking about uh, whole discontinuities, which is basically what's happening with the other ones in this case. But we'll talk about that in the next video. Okay. So that is that.